Yeah, what I do? Tugs, what up, bro? Sorry, man. I literally just uh, wasn't around yesterday. And um, yeah. uh, and, uh I fucking just got caught up. Spoke to a couple of friends and fuck, fucking... Yeah, yeah. Bro, shit's crazy. Yo, can we just meet up, bro? Can we, can we chat? I mean, listen, dude. Just me and you. Lynx, you know how bad it is. Like, how am I going to trust that you ain't going to do some wild Tugs, shit, Tugs. bro? Tugs, have I ever betrayed your trust ever before? I've always been, ever since the day one we met, I've always been 100, yeah, we 100 used to be with such good friends. I know, up. man. I hate this and shit. Tugs, like, you, like, you, know, you, like, Tugs, you yeah, like a brother to me, I'm man. Sure. Yeah, I know. Okay, so okay, let's finish line that like going to make it worse. But like, bro, I'm not, bro. One thing about, bro, Tugs, listen, that's one thing. Anything I ever say, my word is my fucking bond, brother. And for after. Yeah, I knew we were such good I know, I know. Yeah, I do all know. kinds of crazy shit, though. <laughs> okay, fine. We meet. Where'd you want me? Uh, you tell me, bro. Wherever you want to meet. Um, let me. What's your ping number, dude? Uh, 455. I bet. All right. All right. All right peace, dude. All right. Peace, bro. <laughs> Ooh, chat. <laughs> All right, um, so yeah, so that day I called you, right? When I was like, yo, you know, um, me and your boy, me and the boys were, we just like, cause of our snitch, we ended up hitting up your guys. Like we were hitting up a weed house. We didn't know it was yours. That's remember yeah. the day I called you and I, I said, that. and I said, yo, is this is yours. He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, we're going to back off. Right. And Rami was there. Right. So I don't, did I ever get a chance to tell you what the reason why me and Rami are beefing? I don't think I did. I know. Like, okay, well, I'll hear it from your side. So, Rami, okay, so when he came to the dealership, right? I gave Rami the opportunity about being management, okay? This guy probably came around like twice. And even with the management, I said, yo, you guys got to make sure when you're here, just come in once in a while and sell too, right? This guy wasn't doing the do, right? So I'm like, all right, you know what, Rami? I'm going to, like, you know, I sent him a text. I'm like, bro, I go, I'm going to put you, take you down from management, but keep you as a, but keep you on as an employee right so he got all upset of that okay and curtis has been like doing phenomenal at the dealership the guy's been there he's been selling so he really wants the management position so i'm like yo let, let me give it a try right so i told curtis you know we'll we'll do it on a trial and let's see how everything works out right yeah so that's that rami didn't take it too well i wake up the next day it's i roll, 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 roll it back my bad i'm still like waking up it's all good do you have your coffee yet yeah, I did, but like it's been some crazy nights, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get it. I get it. So, you know, I, I wake up. So, the day after I demoted Rami, he sent me this long ass text. He's like, uh, just pretty much Rami being Rami, right? So, I don't know if I still have it, but, um, anyways, I wake up the next day. So, one of my employees, Vienna, is like, or I get a text from her saying that somebody came, came in. And put a gun to my head and blew up the dealership. And I was like, what the fuck? And right then I knew, because Rami said he was going to blow it up. Right then I knew it was him. Right? And my thing is this. Look, if you have an issue with me, cool. Right? We could talk. And even when we spoke, right? We spoke about it. Like, what was it over? Like, I, I'm like, like because break it down for me. Did he get, you demoted him? I and demoted him. Curtis and Zolo. That's what I didn't promote I Zolo. I didn't promote Zolo. I promoted Curtis. Oh, but promoted. Oh. But it could have been anybody, right? But I'm saying the reason why I demoted Rami because Rami wasn't, you know, he wasn't, he, he wasn't putting the work at the dealership. Simple. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't have somebody not selling cars and shit. Not selling cars. Staff hasn't seen them. You know what I mean? And they were like, and apparently he one day he came, he came in they're like, okay, only sell this and just bounce. Staff is like, why are we gonna listen to this dude? when he's not even here, which I get, right? When it comes to the business side of things, I get it, right? So, but my, my, my intentions wasn't to fire Rami, bro. And I said that to Rami numerous times. I said, Rami, you're still part of the elite team. You still have the access to fucking, to, uh, to fucking, um, whatchamacallit, to, uh, to sell cars and make money, like whenever you want. Simple, right? So now we forward to the warehouse shit. So Rami's there. And this is when I got off the phone with you. So I thought maybe you might have hopped on the radio or told these guys that, yo, Lynx is there. Like, he said they're going to back off. So, and then Rami's like, oh, Lynx, now you're hitting our shit. I said, Rami, we didn't know. You know what? Come to the snitch shit. We don't know whose warehouse is who. 
until you actually go until you actually go like go into it right when we found out it was cgs we're like yo matt's like you know he's like yo let's you know he's like uh let's um links what do you want to do you want to back off i said yeah we're backing off right not just for the fact and this has me backing off was nothing to do with the situation with me or rami me backing off is because i'm like i'm boys with you right i'm boys with zoe and a couple of the other cg cats that i've known for a long time why am i gonna go rob their shit it doesn't make any sense you know what i mean so then rami yeah, yeah. rami turns around and says it's smoke forever and he starts blasting us we get gunned down by some i guess i don't know who was there they're all messed up and you know and the boys and the boys were upset they're like links they're like how kind of how disrespectful is that when we're like we said we're gonna back off which i kind of get where they're coming from from for that situation right then rami texts me he's like now now we even so what i my next goal was because we ended up going to jail we lost our scratch guns right and we end up going to jail. So I said to the boys on the Saturday, I said, look, I go, I'm not going to be around for a couple days. I'll be here for the concert for like an hour. And then I got to fly back out because I was uh, it was wifey's birthday in the apartment. Right. So I go, I'm going to be busy for the night. Right. But I go, do not do anything until I speak to Tugs because I want to talk to you to see if we can figure this shit out. Right. And maybe yeah, we can yeah. or we can all have a sit down because to be honest with you, Tugs, I'm going to I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you, man. It's like. I don't like warring with with people I consider friends. You know what I mean? And I'm hoping now, Rami, we ain't close. We ain't boys like we're acquaintances, but clearly he has no respect for me whatsoever. So I wake up today. I come to find out all this, you know, some of the shit that happened in the past couple days. Uh, I spoke to Matt, which I know you and Matt spoke. And uh, and, you know, and I asked Matt, I go, well, what'd you guys talk about? He's like, well, he's like, we ended up getting the snitch. The snitch sent us to a warehouse, which happened to be Chang Gangs again. And we were like, what the fuck? Like, just our luck. I said, okay. He's like, three of them went down. Three of us went down. And then apparently nah. there's. Okay. Okay. No, I'm, yeah. okay, I'm just telling you yeah, what, what he told me. Right. So then I'm like, all right. And then he's like, apparently, uh, Matt was saying that, I guess you ran Tyler over with his car and Tyler was pissed. So they we came back around yeah, to get yeah. their, with, with, with their get back. I said, so you guys went to war. He's like, well, Lynx, he's like, he's like, what are we supposed to do now? Right. And I was so, like, yeah, 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 go ahead. But no, go, go. But yeah, that's pretty much. And then Matt told me too about how he said to you about the businesses. I'm like, what do you mean the bill? Like, so I asked him, I go, well, I go, what you say about the businesses? He's like, well, I told him, he said, you know, Brahmi's coming after our businesses. We're, we're going to go after each one of theirs. I go, why would you? I go, are you for real? He's like, but bro, he's like, what's it serious? I go, serious or not? I go, why the fuck would you say that? And I, and I explained to Maddox and I explained this to the boys before. I said, I don't mind like, like doing some of the grimy shit on the DL. But the thing is. I don't want it affecting the businesses that I work for, for, for many months. Right. It's not only me. I'm just talking about the label, bro. I have 40 people. You see how many people are on the label? Yeah, I know. Right. And how much hard work there is on the shit. I'm not going to fucking what's what the fucking with like, like, I'm not saying you guys would, but I don't want it to get to a point where, you know, like if you guys are coming after and, you know, going after people that have, that have no involvement in it whatsoever. And I explained that to Matt. You know what I'm saying? I said, Matt, I go, you should, I go, if you didn't mean it, then you shouldn't have said it, period. All right. So, so here's what's up. Um, like, so let me just ask like this. Yeah, Is yeah. Matt your leader, bro? Matt's not the leader. No, there's no leader. In, and there's no leader. In this. Look, so the way, okay. So the, the way I met Matt, I've been only running with these guys for a few weeks. Right. And the way I know Matt is through. A fr my brother Darnell, who's been living here with me in the city for like months, so man, these guys moved to the city a few weeks ago, and you know I've met Matt a couple of times. Yeah, everything was cool, this and that, right? His other boys moved into town. They've been running together for a very long time, right? So I don't really know how they do do things, but as far as like when it came to like the gang app and 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 you know and and creating the shit on the DL, that was me. 
I said, let's create something. Let's get something going and this and that. Right. There's no leader. I, I don't even look at us as a fucking like a full on fucking gang, bro. All right. So here's the deal, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't know how to break it down for you. Um, but your boys either either you're lying or your boys lying to you. Like, what do you mean? Cause like they like this either one of those. This either one of those thing where like you're not like like they told you the the full truth to what happened, and you're not saying anything, everything. Or they're just lying to your face, bro. But I'm going to drop it like this. I mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. I fuck with you, Lings. You know, we do shit in the Likewise, morning. Likewise, bro. 100%. I work for On Top. The boys work at Elite Autos. Whatever the fuck was going on with you and Rami, that like you and Rami shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's yeah, how it yeah, yeah. Be. Like, I get into shit with people. I don't bring the entire crew through because I know some of them just like looking for war shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. And, exactly. Like, I ain't about that life. Just like going clacking whatever the fuck I feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it doesn't make no sense. So whatever was going on with you and Rami, that you and Rami shit. You know what I mean? Unless he asked for backup and he didn't ask for any backup. You feel me? Well, um, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get that. It's just what really, really shocked me, bro. Was, well, hold up. Go hold ahead. Up. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. So, so that's where it was that's why when he did his shit he did his shit he put on twitter like you know whatever you guys just doing you're, you know you're, you're you're keeping it like yeah twitter shit to me doesn't to, doesn't phase me whatsoever yeah, it, yeah it's just like you got to contain to whatever the beef is between you guys it's not like curtis or zolo like left your spot shit was never that serious yeah yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah. Saying? like yeah. it's serious but it ain't like like world war serious yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and then obviously the warehouse shit happened I don't know how many warehouses you hit, but normally, you, you know, when motherfuckers like hit a warehouse, it is what it is. You, you know, like they, it would never come out of war shit. Like you hit the warehouse, you get clacked, you just, you know, you you get let go. It is what it is. Yeah, you move normally on. Only contained to that shit, you move on. Right? Yeah, 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 hundred percent. That's what like everybody does for the most part. But what happened that night was that your boys, Matt fucking meatball and these <laughs> other fucking vpn names that came through they clacked up the place i and like you know they came through they they wanted three bodies on the ground because i know because i fucking dropped mad motherfuckers yeah, yeah, yeah. I ran your boy over bro like dude was like like jumping around fences and shit like that i tried to go around him on the dirt and i think i near took his motherfucking head off with my vehicle bro and then I went VPN down. News. I clacked so many motherfuckers. I ended up shooting down a civilian too. Cause that motherfucker, that that lady, was way too close to the crime scene. You, know what I'm you shot a lady, bro. Shot a tow truck driver, bro. I want my demon mode, bro. Oh my god. So, what ended up happening is, like, we didn't know who the fuck it was. Police come through, let everybody go. Why they let everybody go? It because, um. It because fucking uh there was like only one police officer or something like that right unseen yeah and yeah. um they just let everybody go so me we stuck around a little bit like some of us because we were like what the fuck is going on right now yeah yeah and so we chilling but we weren't sure if they're gonna hit it back because there's some grimy ass motherfuckers right now all right and those grimy ass motherfuckers, they be hitting things back to back. So we just want to make sure because we don't know who the fuck it is. Some kind of motherfucking sewer rat. Lo and behold, not even 30 minutes go by. All right. And. Um, so. Huh? You, are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm good. So uh, 30 minutes go by, 45 minutes go by and. What ends up happening was they come through again, bro. You know, come around on their dirt bike and shit like that. We were out of position. You know, we didn't have everybody down there because we didn't in time. Like, not everyone thought someone would come through again. That yeah, quick. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, three of us go down. My boy Taco come through and he mercs all your boys. We 
Um, but before he did, this fucking helmet wearing dude named like Adios Amigos Hakuna Matata, whatever the fuck his name is. Who? Oh no, like motherfucking Adios Amigos Hakuna Matata or something like that. What the f I've never heard of that name ever in my life. You don't know what Adios Amigos? Nah, well, he bro. was dead, dude. Nah, Adios Amigos? Nah, bro. Unless it was with the other guys get like wait, did they did he say Unless his, it Did he yeah, say it was his like name? Adios Amigos, bro? Did he say his name was Adios oh, Amigos? But do you have a guy name that kinda sound like Adios Amigos? Nah. I don't know, bro. It was like a VPN name, bro. It was like it was Audio Zay. <laughs> VPN name. That's what it was. How do you know, nah, bro? There's nobody. Right, so there's nobody in a crew. Shit, yeah, there's like, nobody so in a crew dude, with that right? name. Yeah, yeah. So he goes over us and he's like, "Yo, ask Rami what this about, bro. Ask Rami." We're like, "Who the fuck? Like, what the fuck is this shit?" Um, and so, uh, what you what you call it? So. Then they pocket wipe our ass. Our boy come through. He clack them all. We go to chicken factory, bring our boy, bring him through. And we bring him down there. Um, we're like gunning in my fucking mouth. You motherfucking tell me right now who the fucks you is. We want to know we ain't trying to deal with motherfucking rats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Random ass yeah. infested. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they just saying like, yo, ask Rami, bro. He know, he know. And like, we don't know what the fuck it about. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said his name was Adios Amigos. And, um, like, he didn't really say much of shit. Anyway, we pieced it together that was you and the boys, not some random people. Mm -hmm. I call up some of the cats that, you know, use WID. I end up getting a phone call from Matt McLeod. And that guy, hella fucking dumb, bro. Number one, he said he was your leader, bro. Really? Yeah. I swear to you, up and down. No, I believe you. I believe you. He said he was the leader. He made the call. He also was on some like, like hella dumb shit. Like as if he, I don't know how the best to put it. It's like he planned the conversation before he called. Like as if he, like probably like him and his homie stood around and they're like, yo, this is how the conversation is going to be. Blah, blah, blah. Because everything I was saying to him. He already he was going on these like crazy, not even an answer for like, bro. When I asked him, all I asked him was who, what, where, why. And this guy was getting pressed, bro. Like, I was like, who you is? He's like, you don't need to know. This about Rami thing. You know, he blew up our businesses or some shit, right? He also told me that originally it was a snitch, right? Yeah, yeah. And then... After we shot them, they realized it was Chang Gang. So then they hit it again. Not because it got ran over. He said they did it again because it was Chang Gang. He also said it was because of Rami tweet. God. And that they felt disrespected at the warehouse. But he kept <sighs> going like, you're going after our businesses, the warehouse thing, and because of the tweet. Like, bro, that smoke forever shit that Rami put out on the tweet. You it's know that meme. even that's a fucking meme. meme shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. I get that. And that's a crazy thing. And I explained to them that night, like on Saturday too. I said, you know, because these guys were heated. I said, look, I go, I get it. I get it. But wait for me to have a conversation. And I left it at that. Now, what transpired yeah, yeah. the past couple days? You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I heard it from and what you're telling me and what Matt's telling me is it's lining up, right? 